We're here. Whoa! 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 Can you believe it? You know why I'm happy? Because, listen, I'll tell you straight. I don't watch a lot of the show, but watch, watching it today, watching everyone, number one, let me tell you, by far the best looking people were you. <laughs> by far. The others are all right, right? Mate, honestly, the best looking. Then I turn around. The nicest, best renovation, the most intelligent, because they actually picked Aaron and I to help them, right? But you know what I'm really, really proud of? I'll tell you. Hanging out with your folks and your brothers, sisters, mates and uncles yesterday made me realise what humble people you are and why you've become like that. Number one. Thank you. Number two, like you're both local, like your school that you went to is like five, ten minutes from my home. Plus, Stephanie goes to, <laughs> went to school to the school that my oldest daughter, who's at uni now, uh, went and where Christina went. PLC's been part of our life since the age of four. They, actually, Christina was, I think, the youngest girl that ever went to PLC, right? Wow. She was three and a half. Wow. Three and a half years of age. She was three and a half. She used to get on a bus, three and a half. She looked like as, uh, Dora the Explorer with a backpack <laughs> on. <laughs> anyway, but guys, I've got to tell you, that is unprecedented, incredible renovation, incredible renovation. Thank you. And Thank you so I, I do, much. I, I do, I do, Steph, Gian, and Aaron, I do feel sorry for the others, right? Of course. Um, you know what, Tom, that's feel... what really, it made it really hard, honestly, to celebrate because the whole purpose of us going first was obviously to get a good result, but to set the benchmark. And we wanted everyone to walk out of this room that we're in now with prize money that they're happy with. Um, and I mean, look, if there were five Tom Panoses auctioning five different homes, I'm sure it would have been a very different auction. And basically outcome. what you saw tonight is how important it is to pick your auctioneer really, really wisely. Oh, so we can't thank you enough, Tom. And I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Before, as we got onto the block, um, like is in the moment that we, we, we found out, we pretty much called you. And we said to and Tom, we go, who do you want to work with? And he said, Aaron Hill from Ray White Sunbury. So that's why Aaron's here. Like we have the A team and that's why we felt confident. We knew that our product would speak for itself and we, we, we left the rest up to the capable hands of you guys. A hundred percent. You win, you win the block, the, 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 you win the block gradually, then suddenly. It's slowly, slowly, and then you win suddenly, right? But the reality is, the reality is, it's all done in combination, not in isolation. Number one is you got to do a great product. Number two, you got to keep your cool. And listen, I wasn't part of it, but I can just picture five individual groups would have their challenges and issues being so close. Then the next thing is you also, like the truth is, yes, you need good auctioneers, you need good agents, and you need to also get the buyers to like you because yeah. when the buyers like you life's so much better it doesn't <laughs> matter whether you're buying hockey and the guy likes you things are better you're going to check in and you're nice to the receptionist at the flight to check in she might upgrade you right yeah. being nice is a good thing right yeah. it helps yes, yeah, you're right you know, what else, Tom? Go you on. know what else it is man like and i think it's something that i think obviously this season in the block we didn't really get too much of but you felt it when you walked into this home, the quality of the build, right? It's something that even Keith and Dan have said, these are the best houses built because we had the best builders. We had the best carpenters. We had the best plasterers on our team and the product speaks for itself. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You're right. It's it's all a team effort and you it need is. all it's the big team in the system and you also need to stay focused and that's something that we definitely did. Um, we really never lost sight of, um, you know, the end goal and it wasn't about winning things in between and any any sort of feedback that we got, we wanted to improve the house to make sure that, um, you know, we're, we're, we're delivering the best product for you guys to sell. And then further to that, um, throughout the whole three months, in addition to the... Um, the filming of the show we were here to make sure that we built that emotional connection with every single person that worked, in, worked think, into the house i think even aaron important. can tell you i think aaron can tell you as well how how much we were down here and how much we are you know you and the, you and the team were really working with us to get all the marketing right and making sure the right people were coming through the home right 
Yeah. Well, the guys did what they did, the boys did last year. They were here the whole time. Uh, we, we, if I couldn't be here, they'd actually have a buyer through. Taught me out as well. Um, they took the buyers through. They know the home more than I do as well. So they knew what the build was. So when we had the series buyers come through from Sydney and all the places we had through, they could actually talk to them about how they did it and what they did. Um, so they did a great job talking to the buyers right through, like the boys did last year. And that's probably why we probably got that result in the end as well. Well said, Alex. Aaron, I bet your son's, uh, is that your son, Aaron? Yeah, my two boys are here. My two, my two boys are here, I've got three of them. The two of them, are, they love the guys here, and they, uh, they love coming to the block every year. Aaron, <laughs> mate, after the last two blocks, you become two two. Half, half Lebanese, a quarter Greek, a quarter Italian, <laughs> brother. That's how it works, right? You've that's got it. all the contestants. <laughs> hey, listen, I've got to tell you, by the way, everyone that's watching this, we had about 700 people watching at one stage here. I'm letting you know the best is yet to come with these guys because, look, all block winners get attention and some people move forward with that attention and others go on with their lives. Like, um, I actually think to myself, uh, are you happy to share what you're doing next or you don't want to talk about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, what's, we um, are launching. So what's the plan, Steph and Jan, next? Yeah, so we um, are wanting people to um, experience the Japan D way of life, to actually understand the architecture style through being able to buy our products. So we'll be launching a company called Japan D Estate really, really soon, but you're going to have to yeah, stick around. Follow the journey. Follow it's going to be journey. a long one, and we're going to be you know, helping people jump on board the Steph and John train. Yeah. And um, yeah, Marty Fox loves it. I'm sure everyone else will. We're trying to help people, you know, really embrace the way of, you know, Japanese and Scandinavian architecture. And yeah. I guess the feel you get in the house. So. Yeah, it's all about the feeling. Japan to your state. Yeah. Yeah, so to me, when I, so I hung around at the house yesterday for around seven, eight hours. That's all. And, from, yeah, and I've got to tell you, you know what? It, it, it reminds me of something that's, Simple, clean, effortless, right? Um, not complicated, but makes you feel, I don't know, I just wanted to sit inside the but house. But you know what it right? is? And like, I, I, what, what it is, I guess, is um, it's actually really, really difficult to be minimal because you're fully exposed. There's nothing, you know, um, making, um, there's no noise with, with colours or textures or, or whatnot. So with, with our style is it's got to be really, really considered and very, very cohesive. So to do that, I feel like it, it comes with a material board and it's the importance of carrying a material board around, making sure every room has interconnecting yeah. sort of similarities. And I guess why the beams are so prominent and such a big thing for us is it flows on. And I think we just took that from that point and then into the styling. And I think it also does help if you can be able to collate a series of furniture pieces and be able to look at the, those differences and similarities. So what we're going to do is try and bring that to the market and sort of say, you can find all that in one place. Yeah. And I mean, the way Steph talks about it is so effortless. And I think everyone, if they take a step back, realize that Steph's architecture experience is really what brought this home together. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a, we had obviously a very trained eye in Steph here day in, day out. And we had a very, very experienced building team in the MX boys that were like, Steph, you tell me what to build and I'll put it together. And I mean, boy, what did they do that? So yeah, I think Steph's, Steph's architecture eye really goes understated. Thank you. I, I, I actually think, um, guys that, cause I, you know, when I auction houses on, on the weekends and I see, I can go and auction one house, but like on the show, like one house sells for 5 million and then you turn around and you say to yourself, but one goes for 3 million, like is there $2 million difference when you look at land and that it's not? What it is, is it's the feeling that is created by a person, right? And that is, it creates emotional, it, it creates this, emotions and people make decisions emotionally and then they justify them logically after they've done it they said oh this is why i did it because if you did it logically no one would say why would you pay five million for that when you can walk here and get that one for 2.9 right it wouldn't make sense right but what it is is and that's why i think what you should probably look at doing and i'd love to introduce you to real estate agents that they get a house it's about to hit the market right and they can increase the value of that property with just a few simple things to go from, say, a million to 1.3 million, and they might only have to spend 
like 50 grand and they make $250,000 if yeah, it's absolutely. done intelligent. You yeah, know? absolutely. And and that's the other thing. We want to be able to um, sort of inform people that you can actually do that with decor. It's not necessarily something that you need to necessarily knock down and do an extension. If you can actually find that with decor, um, and yeah, like that, that, then that's basically what your panty estate is. But on that feeling topic, um, yeah, you're you're 100 percent right. We also, you know, we we speak about that in architecture, and we also speak about that, I guess, on the day of the auction. Um, it was our absolute duty to be able to find as many people that we can that were interested in that house so not one person was was enough i had to make sh we had to make sure that we found that many and we, we built that many emotional connections with a lot of different people to be able to bring all those people into one room and that tension and that sort of feel that everyone felt yeah you're right does make does allow people or make sort of people to make those emotional um bids and and i guess that's what you saw beautiful beautiful listen less is more you did amazing i also want to say i thought the edit was harsh to some of the auctioneers and some of the agents but i they all do their best right um i thought uh the best house one i thought you had a uphill battle i still have a view you i told you right from the outset i thought your reserve uh, should not have been that much different from the others, but we learn to live with that. We play the cards that we're dealt. I also might, like a lot of people turn around and say, oh, but they went first. Listen, in normal real estate, if you ask a thousand real estate agents and there's a couple of properties in the street and they're being auctioned, no one wants to go first, right? Yeah. No, they want to see what the other one sells for. But with yours, we had so many variables, right, that were involved in it and bidders that we knew that it was, look, looking back in hindsight, it was the best decision, right? But you can't turn around and say that was the reason that you won, that it was first, yeah. right? Because yeah. uh, it happened last year. It hasn't happened other years. Yeah. Anyway, listen, well done. Um, Thank you. you coming back into, are you going to come back to Sydney in the next couple of weeks or you're staying there? In the next yeah. couple of days. We'll be back next couple days. We feel like we've been in Melbourne since February, so it would be good to get home um, for a bit, but um, we'll probably be back and forth for a little bit. We might Alrighty. move to Melbourne. Let's see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you We're so much. We can't thank you enough. We cannot thank you enough. We, uh, your services, even throughout the whole... The whole build, you know, we had we, we were literally having, you know, we would speak halfway through the build, and yeah. the house isn't even done yet. But you made you the know, effort to be there. Um, you emotionally but, supported us when we uh, needed be, it, and thank you. But guys, yeah. guys, be honest. If you think about it, the plan went to ninety-five percent accuracy, right? It did. So this, 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 this was a this was a plan, and there's an element of luck. I accept. 100%. Birth lottery, if you're born in Australia, you're luckier than saying if you're born in Syria. I understand yeah. there's an element of luck in it. I get yeah. that. But anyway, team, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the night, being able to watch it on TV. You've had a long, long day. Yeah. I want to thank you so much. And um, Thank you. Lots of people want to say hi to you. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, go down. Yeah. Oh, what are people watching? Don't talk to five we're just going down the hallway. A bit of a live tour. I hope you guys are on fire. <laughs> wow, Lee! Thank you. 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 Thank I heard there was a fire here, so we came to put them out. <laughs> You're good, man. Oh my <laughs> God, how I are think it's the money. It's going, 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 going. Go, go, go. go. <laughs> hey, guys, <laughs> signing off. Let's get some sleep. <laughs> Love, we're family now. We are. <laughs>